New at six, researchers at UCF have found a way to use chocolates. <laughs> chocolate to slow the spread of saliva that might be infected with COVID-19. Yeah, interesting twist. Mm -hmm. Channel 9's Angela Jacobs joins us live with more on this interesting breakthrough. And Angela, you learned how chocolate would work here. And Greg, it is all packed into this chococeutical is what they're calling it. They can't say it can actually fight COVID-19, but science has long established saliva in the air spreads infection. So researchers say the ingredients in here can keep it inside your mouth, even for some people as effectively as wearing a mask. For the past year, Dr. Michael Kinzel and his team at UCF's Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Department have studied the power of saliva in transmitting viruses like COVID-19. The thinner it is, the farther that risk can fly. Their now published work led the team to see if it could change how much saliva people actually release, and they found the answer in food. We're tuning a recipe for basically properties that make you not salivate and makes your saliva a little bit heavy. They saw how common ingredients that hold foods together like xanthan gum and ginger can change the thickness of saliva, working like a mask inside your mouth so there's nothing to spray out. From there, they cooked up this food grade chocolate bar now on the market to do it. We could even make it organic if we wanted to. It's pretty cool. Some of the data we have show that it works for up to like eight hours. Future possibilities include larger scale use of the food thickening ingredients themselves in menus of restaurants and school cafeterias. The findings suggest combining this chocolate with wearing a mask can only increase the saliva stopping. Not everyone emits the same number of droplets, so the range of effectiveness varies from person to person, but early data here is strong. We've been able to observe up to about 80, 90 percent reduction of aerosols, um, so it can be pretty effective. Now there's also iron, vitamin C, vitamin D, and zinc in this, so it's important to say it's essentially a supplement. It's not a candy. Right now, you can only get them online, so if you're interested in checking them out, we've posted all that information on WFTV.com. In the newsroom, Angela Jacobs, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.